for coming everyone it's abdallah here wow has it been a while since we were waiting for pokemon legends to arrive and now it is actually here we can talk about the entire game oh man this is going to be so so great so thanks so much to all of you guys that have been subscribed all of you guys that are just on board and ready and excited to go welcome to it how have you been what's new and exciting you guys gonna choose some starters oh man Let's talk about that for a second here. We've got a, a poll on screen. Feel free. Go ahead and tell me what you're most excited for with Pokemon Legends Arceus. But what we're going to be doing is streaming this entire game and we're going to be 100 percenting it. It's going to be so, so fun. Honestly, um, when I've played through this game initially, it was about like 50, 55 hours of ideally playing through this game. And it was uh, it was quite the experience. So those of you guys, just the preface. Um, those of you guys that have never played a Pokemon game before, this is going to be really fun for you. Those of you guys that are uh, familiar with the Pokemon genre and have played all of the other main series games, this is going to completely change your outlook on Pokemon indefinitely. It is so, so fun. So anyway, thanks so much for coming. Let's see some hype in the chat. Let's go. Good morning. We're doing this right in the morning and it's going to be so exciting. So I'm glad that you guys are here to share it along with me. Now, um, we're not going to, I'm not going to spoil too many things um, prior to it actually happening on stream over here. So let's keep that in mind for all of you first time viewers. You're going to ex experience it for the first time right alongside. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Other than that, we've got tons of tips and tricks tutorials happening. And uh, yeah, go take a look at it on the main channel page. I'll actually pull that up for you right over here. Uh, so if you guys are not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Uh, take a look at full screen here. We've got tons of guides. They're all ready to go. Uh, and then we're going to watch some of them together. So uh, we've got a shiny guide over here that teaches you all about shiny Pokemon. Uh, we've got a detailed list of all of the Pokemon within Pokemon Legends Arceus. There's a guide about distortions. There's an item guide, Pokedex guide, money guide. Um, what, we got a lot of things right over this way. Uh, we got a question and answer session. We got the full game. Everything's there. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. Turn on that notification bell so you know when all of the brand new tips and tricks show up. But that being said, I'm ready for it. Shout out to all of you guys that are here. Thank you so much for coming. And without further ado, let's jump on into it. I'm so ready. I got my coffee. And actually, I need another. I need another coffee for this one because I have been like literally hard at work for the last like five days, nonstop, rarely sleeping to get this content out for you. So I hope you guys really and truly appreciate it. That being said, you guys ready for this? Uh, let's see. Big hype. I want to see all this hype in the chat. I want to see it. So let's do it. Big hype. Let's go. Which starter are we choosing? You guys let me know in the comments. Use emotes only. It's going to be so fun. Uh, fire seems to be the majority with all of you guys, but we'll see. Maybe we might uh, pull something out of left field. I don't even know, but it's going to be great. Big hype train. Shout out to all of you guys that are here. Be what? J Mac, uh, Lainey, uh, Rihanna, all of you guys that are here. Thank you so much. And let's do this. Let's do it. I'm, I'm absolutely ready for it. Woo. Okay, you ready? Let's go. How's it going, everyone? It's Abdallah here with episode one of Pokemon Legends Arceus on Nintendo Switch. I'm so excited because this is a brand new adventure. And those of you guys that are fans of Pokemon, you are going to love this game. You're going to say that this is arguably the best Pokemon in existence right now. Sure, it's got a couple shortcomings as far as graphics and some quality of life issues, but overall, the gameplay is phenomenal. So strap in, it's going to be a wild ride. Uh, yeah, all these episodes are going to be right here for you. So we're going to choose English and let's get started. Let's get started. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Welcome, welcome. I see you. Here it is. What is this? Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Whoa. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Don't you dare call me Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Okay, so this is the character customization. You get eight options. Uh, you got light skin, you got dark skin of different varieties, and you got male or female. So we're going to go with... Uh, Generic boy, number one. Uh, what is thy name? All right, well, we're going to be able to put our name in, and we have 12 characters over here, so that's really great. 
Uh, growing up with a name like Abdallah, which is eight characters long, it's always been a struggle to fit that into a Pokemon game. Honestly, um, you got like six characters in the original Pokemon game, so that was really hard for me. Anyway, uh, here we go. All is correct. Let's continue. Abdallah. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a strange, uh, in a world strange to thee. Strange world. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Abdallah. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Seek out all Pokemon. you go you got the new iPhone <laughs> what just happened so what is what is this backstory then so you have Arceus this deity um, and you're in some sort of wormhole background floating you drop your cell phone in the wormhole Arceus says, hey, let me upgrade that for you. And then he holds you like a baby. Okay, I'm... Yeah, oh, do wake up, won't you? It's time. Are you alive, my boy? <laughs> well, I am very much so alive. Don't look so worried. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that, but thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, who are you? And why are you wearing a hat like that? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I see. You seem a bit in a pickle. I'm, uh, might I offer you some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh, no. Nowhere. I don't have anywhere to stay. I literally fell from the sky and somehow didn't get hurt by heights. Uh, so you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, somehow, I guess. I'll figure it out. I don't need your help. I mean, I, I could use one of your Pokemon if you can let me have one. Or actually, give me all three. You don't need them. Oh, uh, I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Hi, you little baby. Hello? Alright. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Huh, you're asking me. If I know what a Pokemon is, man, I've been playing Pokemon since middle school. Generation 1, don't... Of course I do. Don't even, Professor. Yo, we're experts in the field of Pokemon. My, that's a relief. Uh, though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and uh, what might your name be? <laughs> oh, so you're called Abdallah. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it must uh, have some lovely meaning. It actually does. That's very nice of you. Uh, oh, but I do apologize. I haven't in even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three way... Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. 
wait, you three, wait. Okay, here we go. So uh, this is it. This is the overworld. Welcome to 3D Pokemon. And it's going to be so fun to get out here and explore. I am so happy and I'm living for it. Um, anyway, there's a glowing beeping object over there. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay, so remember that. Seek out all Pokemon. Now, what do you think that means to you? I'm going to ask you right now, uh, all of you guys that are watching. Seek out all Pokemon? Does that mean catch them all? Does that mean see them all with your sights? Like, just see them in battle, you don't have to catch them? What do you think it means? Ah, uh, alas, yet another miss. Aha, uh -huh, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give uh, you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Uh, that one is Rowlet. Ooh, there he is, the little owl. He's so cute. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Yeah, he's cute. All right. And there is Cyndaquil. Wow. Uh, the fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Better watch out. You do not want to get him upset. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle... Uh, using the shell-like object on its belly. Wow, cutie! What a little guy. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go catching Pokémon. Here you are, my boy, Pokéballs. Throw these at Pokémon to catch them. 50 Pokéballs. Great. Uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now that i mentioned already that Pokémon are strange, marvelous creatures. Uh, so, what's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be, and with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at a Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Uh, though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay, uh, yeah, so you can throw Pokeballs at them, hold down ZR uh, to lock on, and then uh, you're all good to go. So anyway, uh, you can see that you can move the camera with the opposite stick. If you hold ZL, you can lock on to these Pokemon, which is so fun. Uh, and then you press and hold ZR to ready the Pokeball, and you launch it. Boom! Just like that. So we caught ourselves an Oshawott. Um, yeah, I want to say they're 100% capture rate, because it's the tutorial right over this way. Wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Abdallah. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Uh, only two of my darling runaways left. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Oh, because I'm a Pokemon master, that's why. Come on, Professor. Don't you recognize my clothing? Alright, hello. Anyone here? Okay, here's Rollet. Boom! Got him. And we gotta go get Syndical by the rocks over this way. I can hardly believe it, Abdallah. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Hello. Oh, there we go. Got him. Easy. So, locking on with ZL when you're close enough, and then press and hold ZR in order to toss the Pokeball, like, with perfect aim. So that's really easy. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Give it another go, old chap. Bum-ba-da-bum. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. 
You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village uh, to help with our research. They won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Abdel, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? <laughs> One can't help but think that there is a reason you appeared here and now. There you go. Look at this thing. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Uh, if you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Yeah, of course. I'm in it to win it, baby. Let's go, Laventon. I like that facial hair too, man. We got the same... Uh, then, whoever and wherever you may be, um, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Uh, then, we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Cool. So what do you think? Let's let's talk about like what do you think just happened? Who is this character? Um, who is their main character? It seems like everyone over here doesn't know about Pokemon. He didn't recognize what a phone was. So this is some pretty old technology that we're looking at. Pokeballs have just been invented. Like who invented them? Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man uh, was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive uh, my bringing him into the village for a bit. Look at the town. And look at that rift. That rift in the sky that's just ominous. Like, this game, if you've ever played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, this game is a lot like it. It's like the team asked for the notes. They're like, yo, Breath of the Wild team, can we have some notes on how to make a, make a game? This way, if you please. Uh, Jubilee Village, it's coming a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition team. Uh, this road we're on now is known as the locals, uh, known to the locals as Canala Avenue. I love this method of storytelling in the game. You're walking through and you can hear people whispering. What manner of dress is that? Shh, quiet, he'll hear you. Oh no, he's coming this way. <laughs> like, you can hear people whispering while Laventon is talking to you. Does the professor know that child? We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Who's that with the professor? Right? That's so cool. Oh, botheration, I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Uh, it's just past this bridge here, uh, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Oh, your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Okay, so you can use the minus button to activate the map, uh, and then you can see guidance markers. Oh my gosh, guidance markers are so good in this game. All right, I am ready to start exploring this. This is so fun. Uh, now, one of my pro tips for all of you guys is don't waste your time exploring the town. There's really nothing inside all the houses, aside from a little bit of story elements. Um, so my biggest advice to you is go through from point A to point B. Beat this game as soon as possible, and then, like, literally go back and just see it all. Um, there's many ways of playing the game, but um, there's no real items to find floating around in town at all. It's not like you could check trash cans or anything. But anyway, um, this is great. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? I think that facial hair is awfully suspicious, um, but that's neither here nor there. The wall, the wallflowers, 
uh, for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Green mustache. Green side hair. Weird. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. <clears throat> what if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you met Professor Labinton? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. Uh, it makes me a bit worried for him. <clears throat> I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. Wow. Can you imagine going out in the Pokemon world and getting hit by a Thundershock? That leaves you in your bed. Wow. Uh, but the pre Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy uh, sort of fellow, but to put it mildly. Professor. <laughs> but everything will be quite all right now. Abdali here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Oh, wow, look at her face and her emotions. Her little eyebrows furled, um, her half-raised eyes. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? Uh, you can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. <clears throat> I'm captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You can call me Silene. Yo, Cyrus vibes? Am I right? Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control, and now it seems he would like us to Whoa, he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be fifteen or so. Quite old enough. Uh, to you to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us uh, without uh, any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Cap. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you got plenty of questions. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, you got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might, appre so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and uh, some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Dude, how awkward is that for Benny? Uh, wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fail to please. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our uh, visitor here? Well, well, you know the great hole in the sky? Uh, the one people call the space-time rift? Uh, our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Look at her face! She's so cute. Come now. I'm a scientist. Uh, my job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokémon here in the Hisui region. Uh, that there are uh, in the grass, in the forest, by the water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Terrifying. But it's all, it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Abdallah will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order. Uh, nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? Uh, we've had a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But uh, the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems that our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does a Survey Corps really have the leeway to, to be enjoying such a leisurely meal with an outsider? This guy is rubbing me the wrong way right now, Benny. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. 
Uh, I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Abdallah, and think, if you make it into Team Galaxy, or the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Alright, what do we think about Benny? I mean, facial hair, 10 out of 10? Green mustache? Green sideburns? Yo, best character in the game so far. Throwing that out there. But it's kind of awkward that he's like, dude, you are an outsider. Get out of here. And I'm going to serve you. I'm forced to serve you now? Great. Awkward. Uh, that was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely. But more importantly, uh, you do remember that Abdallah has a trial uh, pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry. Uh, I have complete confidence in Abdallah's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Abdallah, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Perfect. It's like a little apartment. A little, yeah, a little townhouse. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you on tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Wow. That's pretty cold, right? So you have an outsider that fell from the sky, and you're like, dude, if you don't pass the trial... Bye, Felicia. See you later. Captain Siling's somewhat like uh, Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Uh, now, now, sim uh, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing we can't fall out of the futons while we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes. Good night. Wow. Uh, a rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yeah, seriously. I I mean, the town has like, what? 20 people in it? There's not a lot of people in this world. And Silene is going to send this little kid. Thank you, by the way. Um, Silene's going to send this little kid out there in the world to his death if he doesn't figure out this trial. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. Anyway, so this is your quarters. You can come over here at any given time and then sleep. You have access to your um, item box. You have access to saving the game right over this way. Survey tips contain all sorts of information, so you can actually look at these survey tips. Handy tips for team members. Don't you uh, don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such fate. Okay, so this is great. You can save the game. Now, the game, by default, has auto save on. Meaning, um, you can actually, yeah, you can have autosave on board. So there's going to be two different things, right? The first thing with game settings I want you to do, and trust me, raise your hand if you're legit going to do this. You need to turn sound effects all the way on to 10. That's just what it is. When it comes to Pokemon that are shiny, you need to listen for them as well as look out for them. So putting your sound effects over there is going to help. Um, having autosave enabled is great because sometimes if you come across a shiny and you miss it or it runs away, you can just quit the game and then reload your save state um, and then you'll be able to get that shiny one more time. So that's the reason why I like autosave. And uh, yeah, it's good. So if you notice that you did something absolutely wrong, then just like, reset the game and you're all set so autosave is great you can have that on all right so we're gonna click on save and exit um we're good so do it you need to do that please take my advice rest until tomorrow morning absolutely absolutely whoa space time rift what's happening Bidoof! The next day. Oh, oh, good morning, Abdallah. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. Okay, go to the Galaxy Team headquarters and hear about your trial from Captain Silene. Uh, what lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to the headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting.
Captain Silene, I'm here. Yeah, the town is pretty barren right now. Uh, the town will get a little bit more livelier with a lot more NPCs the more that you play. Um, but there's no real town builder aspect into the game, unfortunately. I would have loved that. You know, like in Breath of the Wild, you could like spend money and resources to like build out your own little town. Uh, the Survey Corps' offices are here on the first floor. Uh, don't give up. Keep those eyes open. Pascal, Yojiro, the wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. But the Medical Corps will give you, uh, to, will keep, put you to rights. Um, that man is with the Security Corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Ooh. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Silene, hello. Abdallah's here. You may enter. Her eyes? Man, she is like all 100% stern. What is her deal? And look! She's got good taste in Pokemon. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't uh, exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Yo, all business over here. I'll lend you one of the Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Thanks for the bag. Look at that little pack. That waste pack. Alright, that satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Okay, right, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Alright. Mission start. Here we go. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Yes! Alright, so press the Y button uh, while on your map and you can see all your missions and requests. Pardon, Abdallah? Come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive this unforgiving land, Abdallah absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, here we go, here we go, choosing a starter. Go, 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 all of you guys that are watching right now, which one are we going to choose? They're all here, now is the time. And about 30 minutes in, we get to choose our very first starter partner Pokemon. Who is it going to be? Go on, Abdallah, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. Uh, with a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside of the village. These little darlings are very clear to me, uh, are very dear to me, but it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Who are you going to choose? Let me know right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously, um, a little mild spoilers is that um, two of them have a unique typing in the end forms, the end evolutions, which is Cyndaquil and Oshawott, right? Cyndaquil is going to turn into a fire ghost type. Um, Oshawott is going to turn into a water dark type, and Rowlet is going to turn into a, um, what is that, a grass fighting type. Um, so that's pretty interesting. That being said, um, who are we going to choose? Honestly, there's so many of them, but a lot of you guys want to see Rowlet chosen right over this way. So uh, yeah, that's going to actually be pretty fun. We'll give it a shot. Do you want Rowlet as your first partner? Now, also, just a little heads up. The starter that you choose honestly doesn't matter because you're going to find Pokemon in existence and throughout the game that might be higher levels and you may swap them out for ease of access. And likewise, once you beat the main story, you're going to be able to find these rare Pokemon in time distortions. So I've got a tutorial on that. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, honestly, picking a starter Pokemon isn't the end of the world. You're going to get every single one of them. I guarantee it. Anyway, here we go. Do you want Rowlet as your first partner? Uh, yeah, I do. That would be great. Thank you. Hello. You baby. Hello. He's cute. His final evolution, though. Woo! 
And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside the Pokeball for you. It's yours. Take it. So did you guys want me to choose Rowlet? Are you going to choose Rowlet? Go for it. Go for it. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field. Hello. Hello. What a baby. Oh, they look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Aw. Uh, or perhaps they're just jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could be. Uh, they did go dashing from the village when Abdallah fell, fell out of the sky. After all. Uh, well, not to worry, you two. You'll have to assist me with my research for now. Boom. Oh, see you, little guys. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's amazing. Three of those uh, species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let's give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Thank you for 20 Pokeballs. Now, originally, he gave you 50 Pokeballs. We used three of them, so 47. But he took the 47 back, so we really only have 20. Kind of lame, man. You're going to go through Pokeballs in this game like that. Uh, these Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a uh, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Uh, I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to keep the village. Uh, you'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head out the gate. Wow! 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 Okay, that is amazing. Oh wow! For the first thirty minutes of this entire episode, that's so great. So we have our partner Pokemon right over this way. If you take a look right over here in ZR, we can see Rowlet. Yay! So head on over to him. Uh, you can see change moves, um, and honestly, he only has the move Gust right now. And uh, the beauty about this game is that you can change any moves in its library at any given time. There's no TMs, there's no HMs, there's nothing like that. There is a move tutor that'll teach some new moves a little bit later. But anyway, uh, did we get a good one? Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, check summary really quick. And maybe, just maybe, we get a good nature. Okay, so here he is. Uh, check moves. Dun, 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 dun. Plus, defense, uh, plus special defense minus speed. So a little bit more bulky. Sassy nature. Okay, that's actually really good. Normally you go for a super hyper offensive, but in this game, bulk actually matters because the enemy Pokemon are very strong. Anyway, uh, so there we go. It's one foot tall. Cute. All right. Well, we're going to jump into the, yeah, our first trial. It's going to be amazing. So thanks again for watching. You guys are all great. Honestly. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. What do you think of this game so far? All of you guys, uh, I wanted to say thanks for watching. There's about 1,800 of you guys watching right now. Um, I heard a couple -da, little things. That means that you guys purchased the merchandise. Uh, if you go to abdallahsmash.com, you can get the Legend T and become a legend yourself. So absolutely do that. It's great to see you all. Oh my gosh. Hi, what's up, Martin? Jasmine's in the house. Mr. Mango. Uh, Gonzalo. Hey, what's up, Grisama? What's going on, everyone? Hey, H. Fenton. Thank you for holding everything down over there. Infernal216. KH, good to see you too. Uh, BWA. Hello, Gracie. Hi, long time no see. Marcos. Dark Angel. Hello, Rihanna. What is up? What is up? All right. Let's do this. Let's continue our, uh, our 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 trial. I'm very excited because we're gonna go catch some Pokemon. Hopefully, in this entire run through, we can get a couple shinies. Uh, full odds shinies are very fun, and yeah, so this is gonna be so so good. It's good to see you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for helping out. Ooh, it's like I gotta get a drink. I saw we had a couple members too, so thanks so much for joining us. And that is another uh, merchandise purchase. So absolutely get that at AbdallahSmash.com. So. Mm. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, thanks for coming. And like I said earlier, if you didn't already check out our uh, tips and tricks tutorial videos, we've got tons over here. So one of the first videos that you have to watch 100% is this shiny guide. Now I mentioned turning your sound effects sound to 10 um, as soon as possible. And I also mentioned the concept of auto save and turning it on or off. This shiny guide is going to help you so much. So watch that. And then of course, keep up with all sorts of different things. I did mention um, space time distortions. We're gonna go check out that video together a little bit later and I'll premiere it. It'll be so fun. Uh, Chi -hu -chi Haru, hi, welcome. Thanks for the super chat. All right, let's go. <claps> give me a thumbs up, give me some hype in the chat if you guys are ready to jump into this next part. I am so, so excited for it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. I'm gonna be here all day, guys, so make sure that you guys join me. Block out your schedules. Don't have anything happening besides joining me here. 
Uh, we're going to be taking breaks in between these little half an hour um, recordings. And we'll just chill. We'll talk about what just happened. We'll go from there. So I want to see a lot of hype from all of you guys. Uh, do it exactly like Tia over here. Exactly like J-Mac. Give me some big hype into the chat because we're going into Obsidian Fieldlands and we're going to catch our very first Pokemon. So welcome and thanks so much for watching. What is going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here back again with another exciting episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today, we're jumping straight into this brand new Obsidian Field Lens. We got our mission. Our mission is to catch a Bidoof, a Shinx, and a Starly. So, how do we go about doing that? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out. Luckily, we've got 20 Pokeballs in hand right now. So, let's see exactly what happens. Whoa, who's that? Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo from the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Husui. He kinda looks like Cynthia, doesn't he? Hmm. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon? You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So, what do you say? How about you and I see our Pokémon stand up to one another in battle? Uh, yeah. And you... Uh, I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Uh, let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokémon's HP reaches zero. Here we go. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to a battle. All right, Cynthia. Just kidding, it's Volo. Togepi! Hey, okay, okay. I mean, neutral matchup. I just got Gust. All right, here we go. So you can see with the battle, you can actually run around and get different views, which is so fun. So press the A button to fight, press A button on Gust, and we can see over here Rollett using Gust on this Togepi, which is gonna be a two to three hit KO, depending on min-max damage. So there we have it. Um, my Rowlet's HP is pretty much right over here. So I'm going to be covering that uh, throughout the entire uh, series. So I have to be very in tune with the sound effects of my Pokemon. I have to be one with my Pokemon. And that's a, that's a kind of fun challenge too. You're like, okay, how much damage do you think that did? Are you going to survive another one? Going in pseudo blind because I'm covering it up? I don't know. Anyway, the battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Bring, bring. Okay, it's always to uh, it's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? Yay, yay, yay! All right, what else? Um, and as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. All right, sometimes Pokemon learn new moves when they level up. So keep that in mind and you'll get a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, but so few, so few people here have their own Pokemon. Uh, if only more uh, knew how to use Pokeballs. All right, at any rate, let me help out our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Hey, Charity. Like, potions are good. Uh, you can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means uh, more customers for yours truly, after all. Uh, that's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, uh, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell the rest, tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Ooh. I will not get knocked out by a Pokemon. I'm going to be super careful. The trial begins just a short way past that front gate. All right, let's go. Ress. Nice, nice facial hair. He's got those chops. Uh, you're Abdallah, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care and come back alive. Ooh. So threatening. Okay, you'll see over here that the map is pretty big. Taking a look at Obsidian Fieldlands, this is exactly what it looks like. 
we'll see that it's unexplored right now. But as we go into these little areas, they're going to populate the map with even more um, labels of what the areas are. So I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, Russ. You're Abdallah, correct? Uh, I was informed you'd be passing through. Uh-huh. Please take care to come back alive. All right, I'm good. So let's go. Here we go. The Sinnoh region, known as Hisui. We'll find out why soon. This is our base camp, uh, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's go. Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happens to our sudden guest. That's uh, our unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer out there, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Abdallah's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's begin the trial. Okay, you guys ready? Let's see some hive about catching Pokemon. By the way, Akari, super cool. I absolutely love her design. Akari, this is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Yeah, very Breath of the Wild, right? Little pan of the camera, little fade of the title. So that's a Bidoof. Hi. If, if that isn't the biggest plump mouse Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. The key is to aim carefully. Uh, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. All right, hold ZL to focus on a Pokemon and throw a Pokeball like we've done before and I taught you. So anyway, uh, he's got a mellow disposition. Uh, Bidoof over here. You don't necessarily need to worry about uh, missing your catch with Bidoof. So we're going to we're gonna lock on or we're going to throw it head on. Apply directly to his forehead. Done. You got Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. All right. We got a spoiled apricorn as an item that Bidoof dropped. Great. Not what I needed. Oh, there's a Starly. They're skittish little things, If the, uh, and they'll run if they're startled. Hello. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. Uh, you'll be harder to spot. Okay, crouching down. Press the B button in order to crouch. By doing so, you're going to um, lower the amount of sound that you make in order to not scare away Pokemon. Um, so anyway, we're going to crouch over here. And crouching reduces sound as well as going in grass. So this is like compounded right now. Uh, so we're compounded. This is great. We're going to throw this at the Starly in the grass. Boom, done. And you're all set. Love it. Easy peasy. So you want to use your entire field to your advantage when sneaking up on other Pokemon. That Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take uh, this Medicinal Leak really quick. That's an item that you can use to craft potions. Uh, we're going to come over here and get this uh, little Citrus Berry, Orin Berry. Something like that. Yeah, three Orin Berries. Perfect. I forgot. Here's something I ought to teach you since uh, you're still new to this. There's a proper way to throw your partner's Pokemon, or partner Pokemon. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send out Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready and want to throw out an item, press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other uh, items, they'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've uh, reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Okay, so I've already tested out of that class. Um, the concept of pressing X in the game through text is kind of weird because it's like breaking the, the, the fourth wall. Um, but anyway, you can switch over with throwing Pokemon or your uh, your partner. Your partner Pokemon or Pokeballs by pressing the X button. There, that's Shinx. Hello. What a cutie. He's got a little, little tuft of hair like me. Uh, Shinx is an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Eh, yeah, of course. Uh, I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon uh, carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. 
Okay, so you'll notice little icons above their head. The colorations are based off of their capture rate right now. Um, so if it's dark red or orange, they're hard to capture, but if it's green, they're easier to capture. And that's gonna be based off of getting back strikes or anything like that. If there's an X on there, then they're uncapturable. The Pokeballs will bounce off of them. So keep that in mind as you're playing through the game. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've gotta battle them. Uh, once they're absorbed at battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon in, on your own, don't you? Take one of the Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt that you'll hold your own in battle. Okay, it's easy to start battle against a wild Pokemon. Just throw your Pokemon near it, and they'll start a battle, which is so cool. Um, anyway, so here's a Shinx. He's already angry, so we can just throw a uh, Rowlet at him. Boom! And it's going to start the Pokemon battle. So those of you guys that are old school Pokemon players like myself since day one in Pokemon, uh, you can actually go over here and whittle down their HP uh, using Gust or Leafage. Um, and once you do so, you can throw a Pokeball accordingly. All right, here we go. I'm going to use a Gust because it's not very effective and it'll whittle down his HP just a little bit more. He's using Quick Attack. I might be losing. Um, so anyway, click on the X button, press the ZR button one more time, and toss a Pokeball when you feel like you're ready to go. Um, obviously, getting it as close as you can to like 1 HP without knocking it out is your strategy, but I want to say this game is pretty generous with the capture rates whenever you're in battle, from my experience of playing it. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift uh, <laughs> the sky dropped to us. Uh, with you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling down from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. I want to explore. Trust me. I want to explore so bad. But uh, before even like going over to Akari and finishing off that tutorial, you can go exploring for hours. Oh, I said you passed a trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Abdali. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Got some high technology over here, right? Pokeballs? Camera? Don't know what a phone is? Kind of interesting here. How does he have this high technology? Hmm, suspicious. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Wow. All right, anyway, so like I said earlier, trust me, you can go and explore and catch all sorts of Pokemon in that little tutorial trial with your remaining Pokeballs. Um, that being said, I would not suggest doing that simply because you're going to get an item very, very soon that will help you out with that. You could bring up to six Pokemon with you in the field, in theory, though we never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits a report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. All right, let's go. We are running. I want to change my clothes so bad. Yahoo. Oh, get ready, get ready. Here it is. Silene, I'm here. I finished your trial. You're not going to kick me out to die. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Huh, that's exactly what I was saying. Interesting. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit that you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Hey, got a brand new uniform. Let's go. Uh, get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. Then this is the official order from your captain. Okay, cool. So we're going to go use our mirror at our house in order to change our outfit. Sound familiar? I don't know. Never seen that in a game before. That's so great. Anyway, all you guys Animal Crossing fans is exactly, uh, exactly like that. But this is Animal Crossing way better as far as crafting goes and pretty much everything. Um, anyway, so here's the mirror. And it's a tall mirror, just like in Animal Crossing. Great, we're gonna change our outfit, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna use the Survey Corps and sandals. Uh, you can take a look over here that uh, the Survey Corps, 
Boom. And we could use these survey core sandals. All set. Look at those baggy shoes. Yummy. Those look great, don't they? Absolutely not. But we're going to need some better things than flip-flops. Other than that, you can go over here and change the uh, color of your contacts. Um, so you can be just different colored eyes. Uh, gray eyes. You can do green. You can do pale blue. You can do all sorts of them. Yellow, pink, purple, brown, uh, ultramarine, uh, yellow, green, lavender, ice, poppy red, and white. So whatever kind of contacts you want, you can change them right now. We're going to go with blue. Um, so yeah. That's it. Boom. You're going to get a lot more character customization options a little bit later on in the game if you do certain quests. So you're not stuck with this outfit. You're not stuck with that hairstyle. Uh, you're not stuck with those colors of eyes. They will expand by uh, a little bit later on in the game. So you're not married to it. If you want neon yellow eyes or dark red eyes like an alpha Pokemon, you can absolutely do so. Uh, look how well your Survey Corps uniform looks on you. Uh, it's almost as if Captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, uh, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You uh, may wear this as well. Oh, cool hat. Yeah, I'm ready. I love the scarf. I absolutely adore the scarf. It's right here. A little design. A little scarf. Coincidence. Uh, now present yourself to the commander. Okay, uh, Commander, all right, let's do it. We're going to go upstairs with our um, loaves of bread for shoes. <laughs> uh, not this way, sorry. Loaves of bread for shoes. You can't unsee it at all. You cannot unsee it. Kamado, hello. Bring. I've been waiting for you. He's like a champ. He secretly has an extra pair of arms growing out of his shoulders. I'm Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Ha, ah, so you are Abdallah. Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Um, what are we going to do? You guys want to throw him, or should we charge at him? I mean, he probably weighs a good 250 to, like, 300 pounds. And this kid right over here, 15 years old, probably weighs about, like, 100 pounds, if anything, man. <laughs> Picking him up? Lifting three times your weight? Absolutely, let's go! No, we're going to charge, baby. Hiya! Fade to black. And you wake up. On your back because you got thrown. Huh, you got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. I don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell out of the blue. The superstition among us uh, might see your arrival as a potent, uh, portent of disaster. Uh, but you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you seem, you're part of the Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Abdallah, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Alright, here we go. That is going to be the end of the Galaxy Team's entry trial. We beat our first mission in the game. Congratulations, you did it. That's so fun. Alright, we're going to start a brand new quest now. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you'll need this. All right, you obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Excellent. And 3,000 bucks as well. You'll have to buy the you'll, necessary materials. All right, 3,000 bucks is good. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach your new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. 
Uh, now, as the uh, experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start off with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some ingredients at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools Pokeballs. Think uh, where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Okay, basics of crafting, new mission. All right, visit the craft works to learn how to craft items. All right, let's do it. Now, this is where a lot of you guys are very curious about how to do things in the game, crafting and all that stuff. So we're gonna teach you. Uh, well done earning a place on our team. My name is Anthe. I'm a local clothier. Uh, the professor asked that I uh, ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. Thank you. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you will avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Hi. Right. This way to the craft works, Abdallah. Yay! Okay, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Bing, bing. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Uh, get up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case a Pokeball. Alright, so you can use the workbench right over here in Jubilife in order to craft. And what's awesome is that it draws from your inventory in your storage, not just your satchel. So anyway, we got 20 Apricorns and 20 Tumblestone. We're going to bulk craft 20 of them in two clicks, and you're done. So you made 20 Pokeballs. No hammering animation or anything like that. I crafted 20 things in bulk. Take a lesson, Animal Crossing. Basics of crafting, done. Another mission, all set. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that was your first time stepping up to a workbench, my boy. That's true. I mean, I've been crafting a lot, so I'm good. You recall, of course, the Pokemon that possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can duly record it in a Pokedex. On that note, here you are. Hey, Pokedex is here. Let's go. A volume uh, for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Here we go. This is our Pokedex. Great. Uh, zero star member. You can see how many Pokemon we've seen and then how many we've caught. And there we have it. These are the Pokemon that we've seen in our list. Pretty fun. I'm excited. Actually, you know what? Let me see more about Rowlet. I got to start getting this going. Um, Aerial Ace. I've uh, seen a strong move. And then Leafage. Okay, so Leafage is the move that I want to spam up to 15 times. All right, anyway, in order to get research points, I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well uh, to aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tests to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got a, I've got Pokemon to research as uh, a Survey Corps member. I'd be happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready. Okay, let's do research tasks, I guess. Oh man, this is exciting. Excuse me, I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Uh, I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. Okay, people have something to ask you will uh, have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. I'll teach you guys all about requests. Um, you can see over here these little icons. That means that different areas in the, or different people in the area have a certain request and you have to go up to them in order to accept the request. Uh, you'll be able to see if you press the Y button over here, these are your main missions. And then if you press R, you'll see all the requests that are outstanding. Um, I would honestly say as soon as you can, go through the game and if you see someone, just accept their request because you can accept all the requests at one time and then you're going to be able to go back to them and pretty much fulfill them at any given time. There's no limit on requests that you can hold in the game. Uh, but for demonstration purposes over here, I don't think I'm gonna be going through any requests um, because at the very end of the game, I wanna go through requests one by one and finish them so that we can compile another guide for you. Um, it's gonna be pretty hard to like find out where exactly a request started, uh, where exactly you had to do to finish it. It gets a little convoluted. So I'm gonna try my best to not do any requests. By all means, they're not necessary. 
but you can get some pretty good rewards from them if you do decide to fulfill them. You can get evolution stones, you can get um, items that you can sell for money, you can get all sorts of different good stuff, um, including like extra areas to teleport and fast travel to. So anyway, we'll try to do it with not so many of them. Um, but yeah, stay tuned to the very end of the series where we go through all of the requests. Right oh, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks that I'll need your help carrying out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference anytime. Okay, so here we go, research tasks. Um, I'll teach you guys all about that uh, right now, once we get to the main menu. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Abdallah. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming at you, dodge like your life depends on it. Uh, dodge? Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Oh. Hooah. Wow, look at that. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a, a avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to collect me when I got uh, the business end of some Shinx's thunder shock. Ooh, but don't worry, I've got lots of experience to draw, and I'll teach you plenty. Thanks, Akari. You're cute. Did I just say that out loud? Just kidding. All right, so here we go, dodging. Uh, yeah, here we go, Aspiration Hill. What's up, girl? Yo, this is my best friend here. She's my only friend. Uh, now, let me share some Survey Core wisdom. Focus on Pokemon with ZL and press down to open up the Pokedex. You'll see what uh, tasks you have for that Pokemon. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, you have a research test to do with uh, how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember uh, the captain's uh, switching wisdom. All right, give it a try now, go on ahead. All right, great. So uh, what I was talking about with research, I'll just quickly touch base on it. Um, so uh, with Rollet over here, what you're going to do is, what you're gonna have to do is boost his research level. Um, number of caught one, right over this way, easy. Uh, times you've seen it use leafage, uh, which is gonna be one point since we've used it once. If we use that 15 times, since that's in the column that has the double up arrows, they're worth two points a piece. So we'll be able to get a lot more. Uh, with Bidoof, what we wanna do is catch a lot. We want to defeat a lot of them. Uh, we want to evolve uh, one of them, and then you're going to get a whole bunch more. Same thing with Starly. You want to catch them without being spotted. You want to defeat a whole bunch of them. Uh, Shinx over here, there's a lot of different criteria that you can go through in order to get the research level to 10. If you want to take a step further, you can complete all the research for a perfect, a perfect entry. Woo, boy. What's up, Bidu? You don't ever have to watch their Pokeballs uh, get caught, like the animation. You can just continue moving, right? So, oof, right over here. Sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was a back catch, which was perfect. What's up, B-Doof? Stop running, guy. All right, good. So we're out here catching B-Doofs. With 33 Pokeball, I mean, I don't want to really spend them all doing that. I think you got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check the research test for it. It's just ZL. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, one of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. Which is what we did in our first one, which is really good. Uh, I'll go wait up for you ahead. Come back when you're finished. Okay, Starly, Starly, Starly. Here we go. There's two of them. Um, I do want to crouch over here and get in the grass so I can get some really good hits on them. Uh, because, again, if you take a look at the uh, Pokedex entry, you lock on right over here with ZL. Um, you can press down and see the Pokedex entry of what they need. So no back catches for this one. No, ba Oh, that's a back catch, but it's too far away, and I just wasted a Pokeball. No. He's like, yo, what are you doing? Oh! Two Pokeballs wasted on this one. You better be the best Starly in my life. He's like, dude, I'm just minding my business. There's some weird human following me. Here's a back catch. Dunk. When you see that big Starburst, um, that's a back catch, so you're good. Um, anyway, um, there's a Shinx over here. I could go battle him again, uh, but we're going to just focus on doing this quest really quick. We might find some new Pokemon, so we'll see. 
Okay, so there's Akari. She's all the way over there. You're also going to see all sorts of new Pokemon, too. You can see this thing right over here. It's an ore. Um, it's an ore deposit. And you're going to pick up some Tumblestone along the way with it. So really, really cool. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. There it is. Ooh, Buizel. That means uh, I'll, it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, but you need to battle and catch it. All right. Uh, if you take too much damage, you'll black out. Um, take further damage, and then you're going to pretty much get knocked out entirely. And speaking of which, your research task for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it move to use in battle. That's right. Some tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead. You take care of some Buizel's research tasks, then come talk to me. All right. We're going to go catch a Buizel. Let's do it. Um, so she said that Buizel has a uh, pretty angry, aggressive disposition, but you can absolutely sneak up on it if you're good enough. Um, right now, I'm just like kind of out in the open. He's kind of looking at me. Um, I can absolutely catch him without going into battle. Oh, yeah. N okay, fine. I think I had Rowlet. I had Rowlet selected. So that's also one of the things, too. Anyway, not a big deal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fight. We're going to use Leafage. That's going to be super effective. Yeah, big. That's so easy. Look, quick attack, done. And then we can throw a Pokeball right now. He gets two moves. So that's kind of interesting here. Um, every single Pokemon move has a different speed stat associated to it. And you can use, um, yeah, you can use different priorities and all that weird stuff. It's very convoluted, and I'll get into battling mechanics a little bit later on. But anyway, uh, we used one Leafage, we went over here, caught this Buizel, and we are golden. What? Yo, what an angry little guy. Oh, now he grew enraged, and now his offensive stats are plus one, plus two, quick attack? I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna throw another Pokeball because this is this is rough stuff. We gotta go, man. Please catch or else I'm dead. Oh my gosh, Rowlet! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He, this guy's gonna sweep my team. Oh, this is not supposed to happen. Oh, he's looking around. Good, 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 good. And he's looking around twice. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Three attempts at this enraged Pokemon? My goodness. I just got done saying that the game's generous in catching. Wow. Okay, well, there you have it. We almost lost our uh, Rowlet over this way. We got a ball of mud too, which is really fun. Um, so anyway, you can see over here that Rowlet is getting owned. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to heal him uh, with a little potion this way, just so he's all in tip-top shape. And we got ourselves a little team, a little ragtag group of teammates. Wow, that's so good. All right, uh, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way over there to Akari on the other side and continue our explorations in Obsidian Fieldlands. Now, as you can see, there's going to be Pokemon all over the place. So I'm going to need you to help me capture and take a look at any of these Pokemon. It's going to be a great one. So thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. All right, seriously, thank you so much for enjoying this live stream, all of you guys. Uh, I saw a couple super chats come through. Thank you, Poke. I saw a couple um, merchandise purchases. Thanks so much for being here. What is up, everyone? Thanks so much for coming. Hello. Uh, shout outs to all of you guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Joel's in the house. We got Greninja over here. Yan Costa. What's going on? Hey, Bax, how are you? Mm. Mm. You guys already see a Wurmple? Where's a Wurmple? No way. I don't see any Wurmple yet. We might get one. Um, Sinister Panda, thank you so much for being here. I am glad that you're enjoying all this. Um, Paper Jammer, we're going to continue on. We're going to continue on right now. Just taking a quick breather to get some water, and we're going to jump right back into this. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thank you. Seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good to see you, Jenna. Uh, good to see you, Charles. You guys are watching from work. That's amazing. Um, don't, uh, don't get in trouble. <laughs> if you guys are working from remote, thanks for opening up a tab in the side spot. Um, of course, now, um, if you haven't already seen, uh, we've got tons of tips and tricks tutorial videos for Pokemon Legends Arceus right now on the channel. I would love it if you guys would help support those videos. Um, what we're going to be doing is uh, even more streaming all throughout the day. So click on set reminder here for all of the upcoming episodes. We're going to be playing this game until we finish it. And I want you guys every step of the way there. So thanks for joining me. Um, Definite, definite guides that you have to check out. Shiny guide, number one video you have to watch on the channel, if anything. That's just how it goes. So uh, yeah, help out with that. 
and uh, it's going to be really, really good. Um, there's an item guide, Pokedex guide, money guide. All these things are here for your enjoyment. I hope that you enjoy them. I've worked a really, really hard time these last weeks to uh, get them done. Uh, actually, not last week's, like five days or so. Anyway, okay, you guys ready? Let's see some hype in the chat. We're going to continue our exploration. You guys down? Yo, wake up. Wake up. It's time to go. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's see some hype in the chat. Wow. Mm, this is going to be good. I'm so ready for this. Oh, yeah. Actually, let me see one second. Maybe this. Gonna turn this off. Dun, dun, dun. Lights are a little too bright over here. Yeah, things are looking good. The sun is actually coming out, and that's kind of fun here, too. So let me adjust some lighting, and we are golden. We are full of gold. Mm -hmm. No, that's a little... What if I did that? Yeah, we're going to adjust that. Okay, cool. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's go through and uh, get another one going. Thanks so much for coming. What is going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here, back with another exciting episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. As you can see over here, we've got a lot more exploration to do in the Obsidian Fieldlands. We've caught ourselves a couple Pokemon, and if you look very closely, you might see a Wurmple in the distance. So what do you say? We go capture that. There's a ton more Pokemon where that came from, so let's go uh, do that as best we can. Here's a Wurmple. Pretty calm disposition, so you don't really have to worry about um, sneaking up on it. But you can easily... Um, Sneak up on it if you want, right? Ooh. I'm going to try to make sure that I collect every single berry that, that I come across. Starly? I think that was Starly. Uh, you're really doing quite well for yourself. Well, thank you. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Uh, you obtained a crafting kit. Awesome. A kit containing everything you need for crafting. So this is a portable crafting table. That's amazing. So if you're at a spot where you're out of Pokeballs, you can just go over here, use your Apricorns, use your Tumble Stones, and then you can pick up pretty much everything that you need. You obtained a recipe for crafting potions. There we go. Orin Berry and Medicinal Link is the uh, crafting recipe for that. With a crafting kit, you can craft some items anywhere using materials found in your satchel. As long as you've got an Apricorn and Tumble Stone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. With an Orin Berry and a Medicinal Leak, you can make a potion. So heal your Pokemon. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you've uh, finished to report. So there we go. Cool. Tasks with unreported data, 15 of them. Amazing. We're going to keep on going, though. Please report back to the Professor Laventon once you've uh, gotten some research tasks good and done. All right. So this is it. The tutorial is pretty much done. Uh, the only thing that we have to do is go back to camp. You can click right over here in order to teleport over there, but we're going to do a little bit of exploration because I do need some different Pokemon. Um, if I can find an Eevee, that would be wonderful. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, but who knows? There's another Bidoof. You really have to, like, focus on what's ahead of you, right? Oh, shoot! Oh, my gosh, yes. This is going to be my partner Pokemon right now. Oh, my gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so we're going to throw a berry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's an... Oh my gosh, come on, Eevee. Come on, Eevee. Back catch on an Eevee. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting to get an Eevee so early. Oh, yes! That is great. Oh man, I'm so, so pumped for that. Eevee is a rare spawn in the overworld over here. So good luck. Good actual luck, man. Um, so you saw that strategy that I used over there. Um, you can throw a, a any berry anyway, and then that Pokemon nearby is going to see it. They're going to walk over towards it, which will allow you to distract it in order to sneak around behind it and get a back catch, which is right over here. Boom, that's a Ponyta, baby. All right, we love that. Um, so we're getting a lot of brand new species over here with our Pokeballs. Here's a Medicinal Leak. Um, I do want to explore a little bit more before we go turn into Professor Laventon. There is a Rapidash. Okay, so I don't know if I can catch this Alpha, but I sure am gonna try. Uh, so I'm gonna need some support and some some hype in the comments about this one. Let's see if we can get this thing. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, have I caught this thing? Oh, what? What do you mean you can't catch it? You can't catch this thing? No way. The game literally blocks you out of doing so. All right, I'm out of here, dude. Ouch. Oh, it used roar. Oh my gosh, scary. The game literally locks you out from doing so. That is lame. All right, not a big deal, though. All right, we're going to catch a couple more Ponyta right over this way. That's a back catch accidentally. Really fun. Uh, taking a look at the map here, I'm just going to kind of go along the coast and see if there's anything else I need to get. But um, other than that, you're seeing exactly what we're doing here in uh, the world of Pokemon. There's some Weasel that you can go capture. Um, there's going to be a lot, a lot of Pokemon right over here in this area. So if I can get another Eevee, that would be absolutely stunning. I would be so happy because you want uh, a full Eeveelution team, right? Anyway, what is this Wurmple doing here? Honestly, I don't need to battle. Uh, and I have a Starly for some reason? No, I'm just going to run away. And that's what's kind of cool too with, uh, with running away. Um, you don't necessarily have to press the run away button. You can simply just, hey, you know what? I'm out. Later, dude. And just run. Um, so anyway, what we're doing is just kind of running all over here, seeing what there is to see. I'm capturing as many of these as I can because it's going to help with our research. Um, it's so easy. It's like a, it's like a drive-by uh, catching. Honestly, it's so fun. All right, so here's the end of Horseshoe Plains. Uh, you cannot swim in this game so if you go in the water you're gonna like pretty much drown so keep that in mind as you're playing through along with me in this uh series weasel very aggressive whenever you see them they have the x on their name so you have to sneak up on them not gonna really focus too much on uh, getting those guys because they take a little while to do so so not too bad not too bad here's another bidoof uh he's not really worth the pokeball i really only have 17 of them so i gotta be a little stingy but I can craft at any given time, right? This is where the game seriously opens up. For the sake of time on our stream, I'm not going to focus so much on, like, exploring around and catching a whole bunch of Pokemon. Because I would highly suggest get a couple different types in order to get your research tasks done. And then once you're done with getting just a few of them, just keep on playing until the end of the game. Because you're going to have so many more tools. You're going to have so many more tools at your disposal that will help you catch Pokemon a lot easier. Uh, such as better Pokeballs, such as uh, ride Pokemon that can allow you to uh, pretty much move anywhere at any time. So honestly, um, I don't want to say it's a waste of your time at the beginning of the game in order to like spend hours in Obsidian Fieldlands. Because trust me, when this game, like when I was first playing it, Obsidian Fieldlands was like, I spent three or four hours just catching Pokemon in this exact point in the game. Um, so that being said, like just, just be mindful of your time. If you want to take your time with it and like literally explore every nook and cranny, I highly suggest doing so. But uh, for me, what we're going to do is I'm just going to really seek out some other different things and uh, see if we can find some different entries in our Pokedex. Um, because right over here, there's just, a, there's just a lot of things happening. So anyway, um, right over this way, I think there's going to be some new Pokemon in the Floroma town area. Uh, oh, here's a Wurmple. No, I don't need that. Okay, so one of the biggest things that I would say, if you're looking at leveling up your Pokemon a lot faster, um, I would suggest going over in this general direction. You want to go over to this very corner of the map. If you go to this corner of the map, you'll see a lot of different uh, Pokemon that are of higher levels. And as you've been noticing, as we're catching Pokemon, we're going to earn experience as well. So uh, yeah, you want to be able to do that. Honestly, this game is really not about battling for experience. It's more along the lines of catching for experience. Um, right over here is going to be an Alpha Luxio. Yeah, I'm going really. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna encounter that thing because it is. Uh, it is a level 40. That's a level 40 Pokemon right now, and I'm not about to do that. So, nice to meet ya. All right. So this is an area where I would suggest going to at the very beginning of the game if you want to catch some rare rarer Pokemon. Oh, come on, dude. Stop running. There we go. Okay. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a little Silcoon, Cascoon. Yeah, yeah, there's a little Silcoon right over that way. Um, this is really fun to get these Beautiflies. Beautiflies give you so much experience if you beat them. Um, they give you a semi-good amount of experience if you actually uh, catch them, though, so... That one's already getting angry with me, so I need to be very mindful of how I go about doing this. Next part, ow! Oh gosh, I hope I catch it. So I just got hit. 
and I didn't catch that Pokemon. That's unfortunate. Um, I have to do a little bit better with stealth and sneaking up on these guys. Oh! Ow, dude! Two times? Leave me alone! Alright. The only way that you can heal in this game is if you um, are not seen by any Pokemon. If you're not seen by any Pokemon, your um, your health is going to heal out. So I caught myself a Beautifly over here. That gave me about 500 experience. So if you're looking at grinding your Pokemon really early on in the game, especially if you started with Cyndaquil, if you started with Cyndaquil, then um, you're going to be able to knock these guys out with Fire-type moves. Or likewise, you can go get a Ponyta. You can go get a Ponyta and use Ponyta to, to beat them up. You're going to get more experience uh, from battling Pokemon versus just straight up catching them. So there we go. Um, I got a Wurmple, I got a Silcoon. I didn't get another Beautifly, but anyway, I'm not going to spend all day doing that. Um, yeah, so there's that. Cool. So anyway, that's catching that's catching Pokemon for you. Honestly, like I said earlier, you can you can spend hours. You can spend hours in this area here, so really good. Done. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit, uh, you must uh, have listened attentively to Akari's teaching. Excellent work, dear boy. Seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the offers, uh, the rewards that they offer. So here we go. Every time you go out into the field and you do any kind of research tasks or catch any Pokemon, you got that paycheck coming. You're making that big money. Um, so yeah, there we have it. These are all the Pokemon that we caught. Really awesome. Tons of stuff happening. We got 18 Pokemon caught. We got 10 or more in a report. If you get them in groups of 10, you're going to get exponentially more money. If I caught like two more, I'd get like the little 20 or more in a report. Uh, different Pokemon species, nine. Uh, caught for the first time nine and then caught using a backstrike. So remember, we showed you guys exactly what backstrikes are, where you're going through and you're uh, attacking them from behind, you're throwing a Pokeball from behind in order to get a better capture rate. So there we have it. We got 3,000 bucks from doing that. Amazing. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. All right. So we are doing a whole bunch of Pokedex completion over here as we saw. And uh, yeah, this is it. Boom. New species, got 460 points. We got a next rank up in 40 points. So um, I got to do a little bit more. I got to do a little bit more, unfortunately. So um, with this, it's like, okay, what other things do I need to do with Bidoof, right? If I want to get his um, his tasks done at level five. So it says right over here, uh, number you've caught are double points. If I catch two more of them, I'll get two more points. Uh, defeated for one point, good. So let me catch uh, two more of them. And then I'll be able to finish Bidoof's little uh, request. So we're going to use a Shinx. Honestly, using a Shinx is fine. It doesn't really matter who you use. Um, so we're just going to use Thundershock. Let's do it twice. Yeah, the graphics are pretty decent um, at the beginning of the game, for sure. Uh, a little bit later, once you have access to other ride Pokemon, it gets a little harder, a little rough around the edges. Uh, quite literally. Okay, so there's Bidoof. Um, I don't know if that's going to be 40 points, but uh, I'm going to try to catch one more, one or two more Starly um, because I want to see exactly what my research says about them. If you press down on the D-pad, you can see number caught. If I catch two more, I'll get an additional two points. Number defeated, I can go beat up one for one point. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me catch. There we go, there's eight Pokeballs. And let me go beat up this one with, um, with Rowlet. So we got a backstrike with a Pokeball that's a Pokemon inside it. That means that we have an advantage in battle. So I'm going to use Gust because it's normal effective. And then we're going to use it again. Um, he's too stunned to move simply because we attacked him from behind. So that's a way of getting an advantage in the game. Uh, yeah, pretty fun. Okay, there we go. Uh, we got an Apricorn for doing so. I think we're ready to go. Uh, now that we're here, we got a lot more research points to go along with it. Um, and this is where progress will actually stop you. The game will stop you from progressing unless you get certain research points. So keep that in mind as you're playing along with. So I caught two Pokemon. Uh, let's see if this is good enough. New observations, new data. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, come on, 20 points. Really? Really, Professor? You're done, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I got to do like one more thing. I got to do like one more thing. Come on, Bidoof. I don't have time for this. Get over here. And you can see they will respawn too, so don't worry too much about that. Did that catch? I don't think it did. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's see what else we got. So this is kind of like, okay, like, you're going to need to actually spend some time out here. Uh, here's a Shanks. I think I can get him without being seen. Uh, let me use the Berry Strat. Uh, we're going to throw a Berry all the way over this way. We're going to wait until he goes near it. Lock on. Going to start creeping up towards him. We fed him. And then now, Backstrike. Just like that, baby. Okay, got ourselves another Shinx. Um, oh, we can't even go this way. He's like, yo, dude, too many... You need to be a one-star recruit in order to allow me to let you pass. Uh, so that's unfortunate. All right, let me see. Pokedex. Um, I have no new entries to re, um, to talk to him about. So that's fine. Uh, let me take a look at Shinx over here. What do I need to do? Number caught. Uh, I caught... Oh, I got to get two of them. All right, that's fine. Uh, turn around, guy. There we go. Thanks. Look how easy that was. Wait! Oh, dang it. I threw, <laughs> I threw Rowlet at him. Yikes. So that's one of the things, too, is like, you're going to forget which X you have equipped, right? Sometimes you throw a Pokemon, sometimes you'll do the uh, the other thing. Um, but anyway, let's catch him with Pokeballs and go from there. Dang. Get in the bag, Nebby. Hey, got it, got it. Okay, so do we have anything? Yep. Tasks with unreported data, we have one of them. So this is perfect. Go to minus. We're going to go fast traveling. And there we go. This is like speed running the game, honestly. Uh, anyway, so here we go. Catching two Pokemon. There we go. Thank you. Backstrike should be good. Got a little bit of money. That's fine. And we have to change out our team too, right? We got a team full of Bidoof and Starly. We need to mix it up a little bit. All right, there we go. So I got our, we got our 20 points that we were looking for, which was worth one research task, and then we're ready to move up on the rank. So let's go back to Captain Silene and get our first star so that we can cross that bridge and continue moving. Like, that's going to be fun. So anyway, let's go. Silene. So now we have access to fast travel. There's a fast travel that leads you right in front of Galaxy Hall. So, hey, I don't really like running in this game. We might as well just go through and teleport over to Galaxy Hall. All right, uh, if you have a progress report, I'll judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hello, here's your Pokedex. What do you think? 500 points, good? Is that good enough for you, Silene? Hmm, you made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you've officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Cool. Ding. All right, stars in the chat, stars at home. Let's go, big hype for our first star within, what, an hour and a half of playing the game? You can use heavy balls now. Pokemon up to 20 will obey your orders in battle. Uh, the rewards you earn from your survey reports will be more generous too. Have these balls. Uh, they, fur uh, they are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Yeah, heavy balls are real good. One apricorn and a black tumblestone. We can now craft revives with uh, Vivichoke and two Medicinal Leaks. Awesome. That stranger, uh, that a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us is, uh, uh, like this, is a testament to your na uh, native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple, enough to be judged on face value alone, and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make uh, a life for yourself here. A higher rank will gain you, uh, grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Ooh. All right, all right. Cool. Getting to work on research tasks. Complete. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. All right, so there's 10 star ranks in the game. Keep that in mind. Uh, the only way that you're going to rank up is catching a lot of Pokemon and redeeming those research points. So, Abdallah, my boy, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Uh, well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our Survey Corps duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? Uh, no, not yet. He can chill for a little bit. The people in Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see, so if problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help uh, when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. 
Speaking of which, uh, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? Oh, about that. I was thinking maybe Abdallah could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes. That request came from Mai, of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we can establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we can learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. So cool. <laughs> you love his hat. Don't even give me that. Why does he have this weird hat? The next day. Akari, hello. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Uh, all right, anytime, anything for you. I love her. She's great. Oh, except for that face. That's actually a cute face. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Yes, we do. All right, all right, all right. That's exciting. Okay, sweet. Okay, so Galaxy Hall right over this way. A request from Mai. Is that what we have to do? Yeah, we have to go over there first. Uh, so before we get started, let's take a look at the pastures. Uh, the pastures are over this way. So if you remember Bill's PC or any of the PCs that you go inside a Pokemon Center, this is exactly the equivalent. Uh, you're going to see tons of different Pokemon that you've captured within here. If you look at all pastures, you start off with only eight boxes, but as you fill them all up, you're going to gain tons more space. So don't worry your little hearts out about that. All right, so we need to take a look at our team over this way. Um, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's find a Ponyta. Uh, we're going to use this one. I'm going to move him over here, get rid of Bidoof. Um, what else? I like Shinx, but is it the best Shinx? I don't know. Um, let's actually look at um, what's good, right? If we're going to be taking a Shinx, which I highly suggest you do, we need to find out a good-natured one, right? So let's do... Oops, I'm sorry. Let's do this. I'm going to go to summary on these Shinxes. Uh, or these plural of Shinxes, Shinx, by the way. Okay, we're gentle-natured. Um, give me one with like plus attack. Oh, definitely not this one. Okay, plus attack minus defense. So, I mean, that's okay. He's gonna be pretty frail. But uh, this Shinx, congratulations. You've made the cut. <laughs> okay, so there's Shinx. A Starly, Bidoof, Bidoof. Um, I'll take a Ponyta on the team. Uh, we're going to get another Ponyta that's even better than this one. Oh, I got one in my team. Never mind. Um, and then we got Starly. Oh, Eevee! I almost forgot. How did I forget Eevee? Check summary. Uh, what do we got for Eevee here? Timid! Whoa, 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 Timid Eevee? Hello? That's like one of the best natures. Are you kidding me? How do we get so lucky? All right, so we're definitely taking uh, Eevee on the team right over this way. Uh, Bidu, who else is over here? Uh, Eevee's on the team. And then I guess I'll take this uh, Beautifly. Why the heck not? Actually, yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, I'm taking Starly. Forget about it. Whatever. Any of these Starly is going to be fine. I need to actually look and see what's on here. All right, team looks good. It was a really, really awesome, well-balanced team. Uh, now, if you guys were in my place and you caught an Eevee at the very beginning of the game like I did, what would you evolve your Eevee into? Let me know. Whoa. All right, here we go. Uh, Akari, hello. Hi, it's me. Uh, what's our Pokemon that's going to be first? We got Rowlet. Go. Uh, thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Uh, listen, uh, I've had an epiphany, uh, and that is, you see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help cl complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Who do you think her partner is? Predictions, let's see. Oh, okay, never mind. It says it on screen. Fine. Partner, Pikachu. Uh, it's interesting because in this game, Pikachu doesn't actually say Pikachu. In the more recent generations, they've changed Pikachu's cry from that weird staticky little burst to it actually saying Pika as a branding thing. So I don't understand why they didn't do that again. Anyway, um, ever since then, my partner refused to listen to anything I tell him. He's cute. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Uh, but when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more. So please have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Okay. I won't go easy on you. Best music. A 
All right. We got the type advantage over here. Good luck. T-Wave. Boom. Wow. Look at you just right out the gate paralyzing me. That's very fair. Leafage. Boom. Oh, it's a two-hit KO. Goodbye, Pikachu. We can take that. I don't even need to see. Boom. <gasps> Goodbye, Pikachu. Nice knowing you. Battle decided. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. All right, tons of experience here. You'll notice that um, we got a new move for Ponyta. We got a whole bunch of other stuff too. Whew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Hmm. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Pika. Pikachu. Uh, I guess I was wrong then. I'll start to work more as a team with my partner the way that you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Yeah. Great, so there's an entire type matchup. Pretty interesting. Um, so you can learn type matchups. There's nothing new about the type matchups in this generation. It's the exact same thing. Uh, fairy, Steel, Dark, they're all, they all exist in here. Uh, well, I guess technically if there's anything new, Fairy type, right? Because there wasn't a Fairy type in Diamond and Pearl, kind of. In the original one anyway so you're done uh that new recruits uh so you, so you're the one that new recruit everyone's talking about whoa hello ah the name sizu zisu zisu yeah zisu yo that's some uh what's his name flint flint vibes uh captain of the security corps whoa welcome by the way uh i see you've got some fight in you i figured i'd stop by and give what advice i could Captain Zisu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. All right, now listen, your Pokemon's truly, uh, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Uh, on the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take you longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the Agile style, a move that has less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly unfavorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Uh, choose which is right for the given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Thank you. All right, Agile style and strong moves. Easy. Boosts up damage and minuses damage by 20%. One more thing, if you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Zisu's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, I suppose it's time that we went to meet Mai. You remember, I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. Uh, I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well, uh, once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zisu. Alright, request from Mai uh, is, uh, yeah... That's it. So, dude, this is a... She is so tall. She's two feet taller than me. I don't know how that's possible. Um, anyway, Survey Core, this is where you're going to use the Move Tutor. So you can teach any of your Pokemon any move that uh, they've got available for you over here. Uh, you have access to False Swipe, which is going to be amazing. So I want to learn False Swipe. I also want to learn Aerial Ace. Um, I could learn Magical Leaf if I'm at it. Uh, actually, I don't need Magical Leaf yet. Uh, it's a little bit stronger, but my Pokedex mission requests are based off of using Leafage. So I think we're good for that now. Uh, so anyway, we're going to pay uh, them 700 Poke Dollars, and we're going to learn all these new moves. Um, so that's great. Um, so once you've learned the new moves, go over to Rowlet over here. You're going to click on Check Summary. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Once you're in your main menu. There you go. Go to Rowlet. Uh, change Moves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to use False Swipe, which is amazing. Uh, we're going to use Aerial Ace, which is... Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, False Swipe, Aerial Ace, instead of Gust. And then uh, Leafage is fine, whatever. And then we got Roost. So this move pool is really good. Um, I like it. So honestly, the reason why I didn't go with Magical Leaf is because there's no Pokedex entry uh, research points for Magical Leaf on Rowlet. Um, so just confirming that right over this way. If we take a look at entire Hisui region... Um, it says times you've seen use uh, leafage, you got to use that 15 times to max it out. So once I'm done with the 15 times, then we'll probably switch over to magical leaf um, in order to become stronger. So 
Anyway, uh, that's great. So we've got a little bit more. Uh, let's actually head over. What is our mission now? Our mission is a request from Mai. Go to Obsidian Fieldlands and meet Mai of the Diamond Clan. Ooh, okay. Uh, before we do so, let's go craft some more Pokeballs. That's right. We've got a lot of Apricorn. we got a lot of Tumblestone. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to craft 18 Pokeballs just like that. We're going to craft uh, no potions, but I'll craft three revives because we've got the ingredients for it. Um, I don't have any black Tumblestones yet, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out. Um, for those, and we'll see exactly what we can find. Um, this guy's really awesome. Uh, he's Envin, so you can get some crafting materials from him. Uh, that being said, I would say um, always buy some Apricorn if you don't want to go out there and um, if you don't want to go out there and farm different trees. Use this guy and just spend your money because you're really not going to be spending your money on too much else in the game. Um, but some people are super stingy when they play the game. They're going to say, why am I going to spend money when I can just go out and spend hours in Obsidian Fieldlands? Just catching Pokemon, hitting trees, cracking open ore deposits. Sure, play how you want, man. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to play. But anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for watching. Got a little bit more. We're going to just kind of leave it right over here, and uh, we'll go find uh, Mai in the Diamond Clan. Boo! Oh! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. Is it a secret? That's what I call a secret backstrike technique. Uh, hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Hey, backstrike. I've already talked to you guys about backstrikes, and we've been doing it pretty consistently. If you're part of the Survey Corps now working to create a Pokedex, uh, as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. Uh, you should know I'm uh, already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Yay! Okay! All right, all right. So this is awesome. It's a great stopping point, uh, or at least a little break point in the action. We can see over here that Obsidian Fieldlands, uh, right over here past the bridge. Remember when we got denied by that Galaxy member because we was we weren't a one-star member? We can actually cross the bridge right now and go from there. Likewise, if you want to start leveling up your Pokemon and grinding out, I would definitely say come over to Floro Gardens and uh, completely beat up a bunch of Beautifly. If you started with a Fire Starter or you caught yourself a Ponyta, that's going to make for easy battles and like 500 to 600 experience in a couple seconds so definitely take a look at that right over that way um, and then of course there's going to be some really rare and strong Pokemon right over in this little area um, and I don't know if we're able to catch any alpha Pokemon yet the game might block us for it but anyway yeah that's awesome thanks so much for enjoying it uh yeah you guys ready to uh do the next one? Oh man I totally am I totally am um anyway you guys are awesome. Whoa, hello, hello. It's good to take a little breather. Wow, what are you thinking of the game? I want to hear from all of you guys right now in the comments. A hunt, we had like an hour and uh, an hour and a half of honest gameplay. And what are we thinking? What are we thinking of the game so far? Is it uh, is it fun? Is it the best? What's the deal? Is it the best thing you've ever seen in your entire Pokemon? Um, I don't know, career, life, all that stuff. Um, really good. So that's great. Are we going to catch a Scyther or a Sneasel Turtle Boy? Oh, we absolutely are. We're going to catch all the Pokemon. Thanks for coming. And thanks for the super chat. Uh, shout out to all of you guys that dropped some donations and follows and all that stuff um, a little bit earlier. You guys are so great. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys are really hyped. Um, uh, what is that? SS Jonic says, awesome. Uh, game of the year candidate, Mike DuPont. Absolutely, I agree with you on that one. Uh, Rihanna says, it looks so much fun. Definitely excited for this iteration of Pokemon. Um, I wish the game was out in North America, says Louie. Uh, right over here, Strawberry says, uh, I'm so excited. The game looks so amazing. It really is. It truly is. Okay, so now I've got a question for you. And uh, we can absolutely vote on what we're going to uh, what we're going to watch as a premiere after this specific stream. So I've got a couple guides. Uh, they're unlisted right now. You can actually watch them on the channel if you want, if you want a little sneak peek. But I figured after this next um, little 30 minute stint of playing through the game, we're going to um, we're going to pause the stream. We're going to end it. And then we're going to redirect you towards a tutorial video. So that being said, is there a specific tutorial that you want to see? I've got a couple of them and you guys are going to vote right now on which one you want to see. Um, so I'll put a poll up in chat. Uh, let's see, which video do you want to watch together? All right. And then I'm going to say we've got a Pokedex guide. It really goes in depth into the Pokedex. Okay. We've got a Pokedex guide. 
I'll actually do this. I'm filling it out. We got a Pokedex guide. Uh, we also have the, ooh, Space Time Distortions guide. That one's a really, really good one. Um, we also have a money guide that helps you uh, earn a lot more money. Or we also have the Evolutions guide. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna ask all of you guys in the chat right now, which video do we want to see together? Uh, James, hey, thank you so much for the super chat. I saw those earlier, you are amazing. Um, so yeah, um, this is right now, it's kind of like interaction, right? Um, I do want to get up, stretch around a little bit and uh, start our next live stream very, very soon. So choose what guide you want to see and we'll go from there. Space time distortions, man, please, that's so fun. Um, I think, I think space-time distortions would be really good, but evolutions seems to be winning. Um, evolutions are great, man. Like I think they're they're really good. And since we do have an Eevee over here, it's going to be very helpful to learn exactly how early you can get your favorite evolution as well. So, uh, yeah, very very uh, interesting that a lot of you guys are are thinking about that. Space-time distortions guide is more along the lines of um, seeing. A, a five minute event that happens in the game that you're going to get all the starters in. It's just gonna blow your mind. So did I convince you to vote? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's gonna be so fun right over this way. So space time distortion guide, I think is going to eke out, but don't worry, we'll do all the guides over here. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so let's actually schedule that since you guys are just chilling. You guys are such a great audience today. I can't have a better audience, honestly. Uh, we're gonna do it at nine. Yeah, we'll do it at nine in the morning. And then I'll set up the premiere to redirect towards part two. Uh, here we go, this is perfect. All right, yeah, that's great. Oh, I love that so much, you guys are awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I think Space Time Distortions Guide totally wins out. Uh, thank you for voting on that. I know that you guys had a great time thinking about that. But anyway, here we go, perfect. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to continue our uh, our entire game here? I cannot wait, let's go. Give me some big hype in the chat and uh, we'll see. We'll see, give me some big hype over here for a little Rowlet friend. Honestly, I would probably evolve him anytime soon by go grinding those little Beautifly. But anyway, Space Time Distortion is happening very, very soon. So you guys get that guide uh, just for being such a great audience, honestly. Thank you so much. All right, you ready? Let's go! Big hype in the chat! Get ready. Here it is. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I gotta drink something, man. Space Time Distortions, dude. You are gonna love that video. Okay, let's do it! What's going on, everyone? Hey, it's Abdallah here back with even more Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are with our partner, Pokemon Rowlet, and we are gonna head on over towards this next quest this way. Uh, we have a lot of Pokeballs, got 22 of them. We got some berries that we can use in order to help capture Pokemon. Um, but ultimately, we have to go see what's going on with Mai. Uh, Mai is part of the Diamond Clan. It's our job to go through and, I don't know, make some friends, I guess? Um, as you can see over here, I'm uh, definitely going to continuously gather whatever materials while constantly moving forward. That's the beauty about this game is that you can just throw a Pokemon, they're going to do their thing, and you're going to be golden. Anyway, thanks so much for coming back. Uh, so as you can see, we've got... Oh, dude, out of the way. Out of the way, Gatekeeper. Uh, there are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless uh, you're uh, first... Oh, uh, at your rank. You should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Thanks, Captain. I'm good. All right, over here. Uh, my, this is Abdallah. Uh, my, my, a new face in the village. Uh, not that it matters to me if you're new. Uh, if you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. Ooh, look at these, look at these outfits. Oh, cute, nice leggings, girl. Ah, I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. Mai? May? I don't know how you're going to pronounce it, but I'm calling her Mai. Uh, I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. Uh, but such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more Im uh, important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? 
Of course I do. I haven't evolved yet, but we'll be there. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Uh, there here is, uh, this here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. Can you imagine that? Like if you had a pet, like a cat or a dog. He battles by my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Wow. She doesn't even put him in a Pokeball. That's so cool. That's legit really fun. All right, awesome. Munchlax. All right, get on, Munchlax. I'm going to do Leafage. I got to use it 15 times, so we might as well. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, 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 I can't take that. He's going to use Rollout like Whitney's Mill Tank, and we're going to lose. Grass flying, I'm done. I have to sacrifice Rowlet. I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm really sorry on that. Leafage, dude, I'm just gonna have to find out what's stronger. I have to do Aerial Ace. We're sacrificing Rowlet. Sorry, dudes. I'm not gonna die to Whitney's Mill Tank here. Good luck. Sorry, buddy. Them's the breaks, man. He's using Rollout, and he's going nuts on me right now. Um, so we need to do some work. <laughs> this is, this is hard. Alright, here we go. Go Thundershock! Maybe I should use Bite. You Go, go, go! Oh my gosh, help! Bite? Yeah, Bite's a lot stronger. No, I mean, we'll see. Equid- oh, okay, good. You defeated Munchlax, great. Sorry, Rowlet. So the bad thing about that is that since Rowlet got KO'd, he's not getting any of the experience share. So that's rough stuff. Uh, you really aren't one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Uh, well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Yay, free healing. And I'll let you have these. Uh, you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? Uh, these should prove to be useful materials. Vivichokes. These are revive... Um, Crafting materials. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted uh, as one with them. Rather like the legend, uh, legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. Who could that be? Who is he referencing? What's the lore? Uh, I think you're indeed the one for the job. Uh, you see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It's a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but uh, won't you come to deer track heights? Yo, I just got a text message from Dad. <laughs> uh, that thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that's some curious sort of map. Uh, is that one of those Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, a new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Oh, here it comes, the lore. Almighty what now? No, tell me all about it. I suppose that's, be, that's, that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Isui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, uh, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there's still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And uh, it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. All right, Almighty Sinnoh, a little bit more of the lore. All right, really fun. Okay, hello, little Cricketot. It's me. Get. Oh, you. Run. What are you doing? What are you do, baby? Oh, good. All right, here we go. Yeah. No. No, dude, you're not worth two Pokeballs, you little kid. 
Give me it. Thank you. <laughs> You're not worth two Pokeballs, he says. Um, yeah, these guys like to run and give you a free backstrike. So that's pretty decent. Starly, don't really care about that. I only have like 17 balls left, so I can craft some back balls, uh, some heavy balls in, in a little bit once I get some of that material. Who's this? Oh, Starly, don't really care. Starly, cherry berries, not really going to do anything with that. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. Let's see what I got. Pop-up plant. Oh, Geodud. Yikes. All right, I want to sneak up on Geodude, and I want to catch one really easily. Or we could just beat him up, because I got four times super effective uh, leafage. Anyway, so here's Geodude. Uh, let's give, uh, let's throw a cherry berry. Why the heck not? All the berries have the exact same effect in the overworld when you toss them like this, minus the raspberry and some other ones, but honestly, you're, you're set and good to go. Boom! Sorry, Geodude. Don't really need to waste any more time. Got him! A rock-type Pokemon. No! Okay, you know what? Here. I do need some more experience. And I do need to level up my Rowlet, so let's just fight him. It only takes, like, one hit. Because it's- Oh, it's a two for- Oh, it's a 2v1? Look at this unfair team up. I mean, I might as well catch that one. I mean, he's ripe for the taking. I might as well do it. So this is what happens in Pokemon. If you're not paying attention to the surroundings and there's multiple Pokemon in an area, you can get a 2v1 battle. You can never throw out another Pokemon and make it fair though. So that's unfortunate. Um, sometimes they're generous and they don't attack you, but sometimes they're going to destroy you. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind as you're playing along with. Here's going to be where we're going to get some of the uh, black um, the little stone that we're going to need. And sometimes when it's like hopping about, you're going to see Geodude that pop out of there. All right, leafage is going to be real good. So we're just going to get out of here. How did that one survive it? Oh, he survived it too? All right, you're coming with me, dude. Yeah, he's coming with me. All right, all right. This is good. Come on, Geodude, you're in. Thank you. Welcome to the team, Geodude-ski. Black Tumblestone, 10 of them. Ooh, you know what that means. We're going to go right over here to key items. Uh, once we have Black Tumblestone, we're going to click on craft. I'm going to go over here and we're going to craft 10 of the heavy balls. Now, this is going to be a different variety of Pokeball that you can use in the game in order to get a better capture rate with Pokemon if you sneak up on them. So that's going to be very, very imperative that you master that. And as you can see over here, I've, uh, I've pretty much mastered it as best as I can. All right, this Geodude wants to fight, so I'm going to. We got him unawares. That's just going to be an easy, like, one-hit KO at this point. All right, so we're using Leafage. We don't have to watch that massacre, so we're just going to keep on going. So I got 45 points for doing that. Dude, Beautifly gave us, like, 500. So this is chump change. Anyway, what's up, Mai? My Mai. Okay, I like her hair. I think she's really nice. Uh, oh, so even your professor decided to join us. Yeah, he was just like creeping in the grass the whole time, just watching. <laughs> what a funny guy. Oh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha, now could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients, uh, blessed by almighty Sinnoh. Alright, predictions. Who do you think it is? Do you recognize that cry? Who is this ancient Pokemon? There it is! You found it! That's not it. That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, Abdallah, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Interloper. Upon my word, what a large specimen. A little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land uh, if they're um, all as oversized as this one. Whoa, exactly. Uh, they're not only big, though. They're strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless... 
I believe you're stronger still than this alpha. Uh, so go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Abdallah. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt uh, this Alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. You must face it. Make your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. All right, Alpha Pokemon. They're large and they're in charge. They got some exclusive moves and they're many levels higher. Um, so that being said, I'm going to go see what it's all about because we have to fight it. Oh, I got Aerial Ace. I'm golden. Look at his eyes. See, they're glowing red. That means that it's an alpha, and yeah, we gotta go. All right, Rowlet, do your best. Don't get KO'd, please. All right, press the Y button to check the action order. Honestly, action order is, it's not as good as what it, what you think it is. Oh, dude, come on, man. Rowlet's not gonna get any experience, but I have to do this attack because it's super effective, so we're gonna do it. Boom, 50%. 60%. And I'm knocked out, too. Cool. Rowlet, you did your job. Thank you so much. Uh, boom. Wow, wow. These other Pokemon I have. Bidoof. Uh, Starly. Eevee. I don't think Eevee's ready for any kind of work. So, I think Shinx is my best bet. Alright, Shinx. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Thundershock? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Maybe I might get the Paralysis. Two hits. Yeah, yeah. It's two hits. Oh, big Paralysis. Great. It used False Swipe. Why didn't you use False Swipe on me? Uh, can I catch this dude? Yeah, heck yeah. Let's go. Give me that. Oh, come on. Uh, this is interesting. So normally, you'd go through and you would just... You would just beat this thing. you just beat this thing and KO it. Um, but right now, I'm like... I'm at a point where I might as well try to catch the first alpha in the game. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Yo, Cricketune with False Swipe right off the bat. What level is he? I didn't expect to do that. That's so cool. Um, usually you just beat it up and like you're done. You just knock it out and then the, the game progresses. I didn't even realize that you can catch this thing. That is so, so awesome. Cool. Big hype for Cricketune. Welcome to the team, Alpha. Uh, you're really an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Uh, we best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off such, against such a foe. And see, this is what I'm going to call Starter Syndrome. You're going to have uh, Starter Syndrome, meaning your uh, Starter Partner Pokemon is going to always go in first. And it's going to get KO'd, and it's not going to gain all that passive experience share. So it's going to fall behind in levels, unless you actually go out and grind some Pokemon. So that's what happens. Uh, it's going to happen to all of us, I bet. What in the world was that? It's the Great Word Ear. Look at this thing. He looks upon you with kindness, Abdallah. Whoa. I'd say the great word here has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. Uh, he's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkably. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A uh, Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why? It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Ride Pokemon in Alola? What a reference. Are you from Alola? Hmm. Skin tone, maybe. What are you doing here? Professor Labinton, and how do you know about Alola's ride Pokemon? Captain Silene sent me. Uh, she said that once Abdallah carried out this request, uh, we'd be able to set up base camp. Uh, about that, I know this was a joint decision by Adamin, the commander. But still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Word here has taken a liking to Abdallah as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did here today. Our clan leader will hear uh, of how you've aided us. 
I'll come show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. So request from Mai is complete. We did it. Awesome. And we got ourselves an alpha Pokemon. So good. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to uh, have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Lots of different cores. Corpse. <laughs> Such a weird word in the English language. You think about that? Core versus corpse. It's like a silent RPS. What? Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, you can uh, set out of the village. You can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Uh, what say we all head back to the Wallflower? Yeah. So you can see that little icon in the uh, on the right side of Cricket Tune. It's a little, I don't know, like a little monster. It's red. That means that it's an alpha. So we caught it. I'm very proud of us. We did it. Good job. And we get a lot more money, as you can see here, uh, by catching an alpha. Got 2,000 bucks. Boom. Look at that. What are we going to spend our money on? Ooh, that Cricket Tune's going to be good. I should put him on my team, but honestly, we don't need to. Um, so 980 points left is what we need in order to get the next rank. So we're going to have to do a lot of grinding in order to do so. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Yes, sir. Benny. I don't like him. I don't like him and his green mustache. Don't talk to me. All right. Uh, have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors, it ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Wow. Ah, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Abdallah here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver so mighty even Alpha Pokémon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokémon are the key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since his perilous, perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. So the only thing we eat in town is potato mochi, made by a grumpy old man with a green mustache who doesn't like me and was not very welcoming. So I eat these only because I have to. <sighs> Nasty. Benny. Good morning, Abdallah. What's up, best friend? Uh, you should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Oh man, I'm just gonna sleep in today. What the heck. Uh, so you can go over here to your uh, your inventory and you can see exactly what uh, what you got. Uh, you press the minus button, you can organize. Um, things that I want to favorite is going to be Pokeballs. I'll favorite these. And I guess I'll favorite the um, items that you use in order to craft. So if you press minus, all of your favorite items are going to be right up top. Kind of fun. And then you can kind of throw some of your items inside the item box if you want to for item storage. Pretty cool. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Mochi Man will never warm up to us. Mark my words. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting all Mighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. What? These two? We've seen these two before in reveal trailers. Welcome. It's Irida. Uh, there you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of creation and ruler of space. Whoa. Space and time? Which Pokemon are they talking about? Ha, you could have had all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Ah, oh, excuse me. Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time 
uh, than we make a vast Hisui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, O oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan? In our world's very basis? You wish. I love these two. I wish I hadn't uh, let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. Rivaling clans, Diamond and Pearl Clan. Uh-oh. You can feel the tension when those two show up. Uh, you haven't met them, have you? The woman with the uh, reverence for space is Irida, uh, the leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on and on about time, Adaman, uh, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. The, uh, but the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. Uh, we should save this conversation for after you report to him. Alright, who are you siding with? Adamant or Arita? Talk to me. Who do you... Whose attitude do you like more? Adamant? Very good. Very attractive looking, right? Arita? Super cute. What do you think? Talk to me. The commander's office. Oop, oh, it's gonna be a little higher, right? What? Oh, we're not going here. I'm sorry. Yeah, summoned by... Oh, Commander Hall in the galaxy. Oh, yes, it's third floor. Whoops. Dude, how many levels are there? Pearl Clan hype or Diamond Clan hype? Who are you going to side with? Are you going to even have to side with? Can you have them both? Find out. Uh, what do you intend to do about Cleaver, Commander? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. Uh, you do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back uh, at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even the folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Abdallah, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Ah, I hear from Ma you earn Wordier's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you came from beyond the space-time Rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, the leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that Rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? Uh, you'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift, rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Says a leader with almost no experience. Uh, being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Abdallah. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. I accept. 
Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. All right, brand new mission start. Ooh, I'm excited. And that's settled. There's no time like the present. Uh, the Lord of the Woods Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Oh. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Join me downstairs, Abdallah. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Cool. <laughs> Jump all the way down the stairs. All right, beautiful. Um, so we got ourselves a new mission, which is called uh, the Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Interesting. So let's go take a look at a little bit more information on what we have to do with that. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Laventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Abdallah... I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state, but as you are aware now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invi invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. He's f a far trickier opponent than ever, uh, than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and uh, Pearl clans revered their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve as their almighty Sinnoh. Uh, they leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research uh, could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for Cleaver. Seems legit. Ah, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. Uh, the, that world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So, if you fell through the space-time rift, that mean that might mean that you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swim swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. Uh, we were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Uh, share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a uh, similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there is certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but we've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of Heartwood. Uh, his warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but uh, also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Wow. He certainly left quickly uh, once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and Mai weren't strong, you know. Uh, if you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our New Heights camp would be a, uh, a handy place. Uh, for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You want to bring your best Pokemon. Okay, find your way to Grand Tree Arena, which is going to be so fun. Uh, let's do this. Oh yeah, hold on. I want to warp to the front gate, please. What? Dude, okay, fine. Let me get out of here. All right, so we're going to manually walk over there. Apparently not, we're not warping, so... Oh, that's why. 
Baggins here. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across, satchel always seeming full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. All right, Baggin. Uh, you can carry him around even more items in your satchel. Uh, I can teach you. What do you say? So this is why I didn't spend too much of my money is because we need bag space. So uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on buying bag space right over this way. Um, every time you pay him, it's going to get incrementally more expensive. And uh, bag space is going to be the most important thing that you need to buy at the very beginning of the game. Don't waste all your money on outfits. Trust me. Um, you're going to be running around picking up all sorts of different items. It's going to take up so much room in your satchel. You'll be able to, um, yeah, just carry a lot more now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get as much of this bag space as possible and then pretty much get ready for uh, our next little time distortions uh, little video that we're doing. So anyway, uh, this is my pro tip for all of you. Save your money for bag space. Um, the really only thing that you're going to be needing to buy in the game is bag space and uh, a potentially Pokeball crafting materials if you don't want to go out and explore around the area and find the free stuff on the ground. So anyway, yeah, 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 function over fashion, always, always, especially in this game. Um, so you can see over here, he wants 1500. That's pretty much all the money that I have. And I don't think that I can get any more. Um, he's going to ask for what, 1700 now? 2000. I need 30 bucks, man. Yo, you got spare some change? Anyone spare some change? No, not a thing. All right, cool. So now you can see if you uh, look in your bag, I've got, um, what do I got? 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 26, 27 spaces. 27 spaces, man. That's great. You are going to really heed my advice on that one. All right, here we go. Uh, we are going to jump into the front gate. Uh, we're going to set ourselves up for success in this next episode or this next area. Let's see what this is all about. Come on, man, I gotta go. How are things, my, my good friend? Oh, come on, Volo. Certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Anyway, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, I think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. That's right, right? Gotta give them a little sample so they keep coming back for more. Ugh, weird. Uh, now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Later, dude. Okay, this is perfect. Um, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to end off um, the entire episode right here. So that means that we got Cleaver that we have to go quell over in the Grand Tree Arena. What's going to happen with him? Are we going to be able to catch him? Are we going to battle him? Is he going to slice me in half like a tree? Oh my gosh, we're going to find out very, very soon. So thanks so much for being here and thanks for enjoying the series. Seriously. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. This game is so good. Thank you so much for being here. All of you that are in the chat right now. Hello. Hannah, Frostad. Hey, what's up? Steph, Martin, uh, Sebastian, all of you guys that are here. Talonflame, uh, Rescue Squad. Let's go. You guys ready for this guide? Okay, you guys are ready for this guide, right? This distortion guide. We were kind of teasing that a little bit earlier. So uh, let's all come over here. It's going to premiere in the next couple moments, but I can do some questions while we wait for it to happen. I think that'll be super fun. Uh, the link is going to be right over here in chat. Feel free to go ahead and um, get a head start on that. Um, I'm going to show you guys right over here full screen. This is exactly it. So come on over to it. We've got some people already in chat. Um, distortions are going to be a huge... A huge element in the game and I cannot wait to show you what this is. I worked really hard on getting this footage and uh, pretty much broke it all down. They're very scary at first. When I first um, came across a space-time distortion, I was, I was freaking out and I didn't know what the heck was going on. But after mastering them, I compiled this guide so that you guys are going to be all set and ready when they happen. Abdallah, what are you talking about? What's a distortion? You haven't even seen one yet. Dude, don't worry. A little bit later on the game, they're going to be available here. So yeah, do it. It's going to be awesome. So come on over to this video and then we'll hang out. It'll be super fun. But anyway, those of you guys that are here, talk to me. What kind of questions do you have? This is now a time to speak up because what we're going to do is we're going to do this distortion guide. And then right after that, we're going to go straight over to my main channel uh, right over this way. Bum, bum, bum. We're going over to my main channel and then we're going to hit this uh, this next live stream right over here. So we've got two things that we're going to set up. I've got part two, which is going to happen. I'm going to go get some breakfast. We're going to start this off in, uh, you know, just a little bit. Got to take a little breather. Got to stay safe and, uh, you know, 
keep track of health, get up, stretch a little bit, but we are going to be streaming this game all day. So please pay attention to our little schedule right over this way. You'll be able to see all of the different reminders of when you can see all of our streams for all through today. Trust me, we're going to go through part one, two, three, four, and five, and six all today. It's just going to be an entire marathon. So all of you guys, I want you here again, and I'm going to be checking for you. Trust me. Uh, I want to see Darkness. I want to see James Austin. I, Austin. I want to see Akira. I want to see Manuela. I want to see Zephyr. I want to see Rue. I want to see Rachi Poo. I want to see all of you guys. Boy from Belgium. I want to see you and you too, Paper Jammer. Yeah, I never forget about you guys. I want to see all of you guys here. So make sure that you guys are on board with it. All right. So that being said, um, space time distortions. Uh, let's talk about it. What are we, what are we hyped up about? So let's go do that. I'm going to, uh, share that on Twitter really quick. Space time distortions. And if you guys want to help out with, uh, tweeting it out, I'll do some retweets and we'll get this going. Let's do a little tweet. What questions do you guys have about the game so far? Talk to me. Uh, I'm going to say, let's learn everything about space time distortions in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Boom, join us. Okay, so tweet that out. I'll do some retweets and we're golden, man. Thank you so much for it. All right, anyway, while you guys are all coming over here, uh, let's take a look. What questions do you have? All right, so let's talk. Rue in the comments right over here. There's a great question, by the way. Rue asks, um, what did Rue ask? How are the trade evolutions going to work? Luckily for you, there's an item in the game that you can get that it's just a item that you use on a Pokemon that has a trade evolution. Like Haunter, for example, it's called a linking cord. Um, you grab the linking cord and it's just like tapping a water stone on an Eevee and then they evolve into their trade evolutions. Likewise, you can go through and, uh, and trade Pokemon if you want to do that with other people online, so. All right. Uh, Hoshiko88 asks, couldn't see, but does your character have a health bar? No, they don't. Your character, as you get damaged, the screen is going to get a little black around the edges. As you're on the brink of life, your screen is going to get red and it's going to like flash for you. That's when you got to get out of dodge and recover. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I hope that answers your question for that. Um, is the distortion scary, Talonflame29? Absolutely. The first time, uh, the first time that you see... The first time that you see a space-time distortion, it is absolutely scary. So 100%. Yeah, be very, very mindful of that. But anyway, it's a good time. Um, yeah, I'm I'm very excited for it. So, Link Cable. It's absolutely a callback for the Game Boy days. Yeah, absolutely, Martin. Um, what about uh, Scyther to Scissor, Turtle Boy? You're just going to need to find a metal coat and just tap it on him. Boom, just like a Firestone to an Eevee. Just like that. Uh, really, really, really good. Um, Soapy Secondhand says, can you bring Pokemon Home um, in Legends? Um, I don't know if you can, to be honest. Um, there's no Pokemon Home support yet. So honestly, you can just go through and beat this entire game without trading anyone. It'll take you like 40, 50 hours and you can get every Pokemon in the game. So there's no need to bring anyone from and to home, at least yet. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm talking about over here. So it's good, it's good. Good morning, Digi Girl. Good to see you. Silent Hill health indicator, uh, Frosted, 100%. That's exactly how this is. Uh, so yeah, come on over to this chat and uh, we can we can hang out. But you can see over here, we got about uh, a couple seconds before this begins. We're going to watch it. So thanks so much for coming. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for being here. And before you leave, be sure to smash that like button. I'll see you in the premiere chat right over this way. And we'll hang out. Have a great rest of your day and uh, take care. Thanks for everything. You